Ready? Sorry? Yes. It does boost your speed, but if you use it properly... Okay, wrong wall. There we go. Okay. Quite less than 65, which isn't good. So, uh, low health. So, I need to get combs to these lovely, lovely mermaids. Uh, because otherwise they won't follow me back to my pipe. Get in there. And I can only have one mermaid following me at a time, for some reason. So a lot of the success in this level depends on the placement of uh, combs and lovely, lovely mermaids. Um, Manual, it's actually double bubble seven. Double bubble seven, which, if you kind of look at it, uh, does kind of make sense in a really weird way. Oh, that's one. <laughs> right. This is the, the game can really troll you with phone placement. Uh, if it wants to, right. Oh, yeah, there's invisible blocks. Um, I'm not sure whether the little wrong warp I did earlier has caused this, but there is another little glitch that will um, basically give me refill all my extra life, refill all my lives. Oh, and it's a die. Right. Okay, hopefully better placement of... Oh, come on. 
Whenever I'm out of water, any damage I take is replenished when I go back into the water, unless I use a teleport. In which case, all the health I've lost goes lost. So that's fine. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't believe this. Right. Sorry, sorry guys. This is moving a lot faster than I thought it was. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, I got spammed. I got hit by one of those um, octopuses, and they ink your screen. Oh, what? I don't believe it. What's the time like? Sorry? 12 minutes, okay, still, still doing my estimate. This is why I've got a high estimate. Just things just kill you so, so randomly. All right. So I'm trying to get these mermaids back to the whole. This is the object of the mission. Uh, I mean, this whole game is basically French quests, one after the other. Uh, in this case, I'm fetching mermaids to uh, so safety, basically. They won't follow me unless I've got one of the codes. Um... Uh, those are just, uh, items. But, uh, you get bonus points. Some of them give you health as well, and... But, yeah. Alright, 
So James Bond attacks with bubbles. Um, uh, he attacks with bubbles. He can, therefore, he can only attack when he's underwater. Uh, but yeah, everything is very, very hazardous in this game. Um, you can only have one mermaid following you at a time, which is why I pick up a comb, which is going to take back to the first screen and uh, use it there, basically. In normal speedrun you wouldn't heal at all, but yeah, Marathon. Uh, and so far being controlled very heavily by it. All these enemies, which is, as you can see, are completely surrounded me. Oh, <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, and it's really picky about letting you pick up items. Because to pick up an item you have to press down and A. You also use down to go in that bloody pipe. And I'm on my last lap again. Oh, I can't lose this. Right. I die in the next level, it's going to be nice to kill the run, I think. Right. The reason I'm doing this is every time I come out the pipe, I'm invincible for a couple of seconds. Uh, so I'm using that to stop that guy from uh, trolling me. Which I'm guessing. Points. Once you hit 100,000, I'll be uh, granted an extra life. There we go. Right. So a bit of a safety buffer of there. basically refills your lives. I was hoping to save that until I had all of the uh, uh, mermaids ready to go. I still need one more after this one. Because I still need another comb. Okay, that's lucky. Well, also unlucky, but yeah, the bad luck and the good luck cancel themselves out there. Okay. I don't need to rescue all nine of them, I can just leave the other two to go about their business. But I am out of this level now. And not a moment too soon. Depends how it starts off, really. Right. Last level. Uh, can I get a time check, please? 
Sorry? That was a teleport. Right, so this I've got to get all of these uh, items and food back to my base so I can back to it. Um, so I'm quite on mission really before all the hunters close in. I know there are th more thrilling things than watching me really pump shelf, but it's necessary. Right. Get up. Basically, now what I do is every time I recover an item, I go into an outer pods. That way, all the guys are there, and I can use my uh, invincibility frames to uh, to avoid getting hurt. Pick it up, pick it up. They move very, very quickly. All right, uh, right I need to drop this off. And now I need to help recover. Oh, and I've still got three lives, so fingers crossed. Yep. Two more. It says four left, but that's four that are available, not four I need to get. There we go. A lot of this game is manipulating my spots and not going over your own steps. So if I ever change my steps, I'm just going to get um, totally killed by those guys. So that's why I use this route a bit longer. Wait. Okay, one more. Get ready with the clock. Come on, three lives. Can't, can't lose with three lives, mate. I'm one left again. And done. Time. Oh, damn it. Nice. Right. So. Thanks. So this is what you get for end credits. The world is safe for now. Um, this is it. Right. I press A. All right. High score. And that's it. Start again.